Round 12 of the 2012 TM Light Series saw Axel Andersen in the number 997 car for KJS Autosports sit on the pole, but the quickest car in all the practice sessions is right alongside him. That is Cesar Villanova, car number 8. In the background, I see Troy Adams, the championship leader, making some big moves early. A couple other cars getting out of line. Cameron Taylor in that 68 car is going to get around Anderson. Anderson slides it wide. Eric Molina almost throws it off and causes a big pileup in that red 21 car. Uh, Taylor not able to do anything with Villanova, and CVN is going to extend his lead. That's Jacob Card in the 133 car, beginning to make some headway. The uh, Canadian driver has been fairly impressive in the EV racing car. Now here is uh, Cesar Villanova, car number 8, as he leads Cameron Taylor down into station 5. Uh, Villanova has not had the most impressive season. There's been a lot of rumors that he may return to his native Brazil to run in their national uh, stock car tour. Now here is James Davison, the winner at Michigan. Earlier in the year, uh, he's going to make some contact with one of the Unit 11 cars. Mark Blackwell gets turned around, and he's going to continue on, but not too much of a problem. Looks like everyone in the back was paying attention there, and uh, uh, Davison goes on, but he does have some damage on the Interstream Motorsports 29 car. Uh, he's been fairly quick this year. However, he has uh, just not had a whole lot of consistency because, uh, well, little incidents like this... Uh, mean that he doesn't finish in the points on a regular basis. Here's Ryan Griffin, the recently reinstated Ryan Griffin, the 18 car, slows down, moves over into the 54 car of Dexter Hamlin in the kink, the fast part of the track on the first lap. That's Mike Andrews and Claire Osir that come uh, get caught up in this, and then a couple cars, including Thurston Blood and Soccer Matoko, just decided to use the 28 car as the brake pedal a little bit there. Uh, they figure, yeah, we're through the wreck, let's just lift off the brakes and just run straight in the 28 car, but Ryan Griffin, I don't know what he's doing. Um, a lot of people have been very critical of Griffin for causing a lot of stupid wrecks, and this is just another one of those. Um, he's knocked the 54 out. Mike Andrews and Clara Sierra, nowhere to go. And Dexter Hamlet, the much maligned Dexter Hamlet, uh, for good reasons, I might add, uh, just got taken out. Uh, we're going to get, uh, here we go. Coming into the kink, the quickest part of the track here at Road America. The 18 just moves over straight in the 54, puts him in a no-win situation. Andrews is nowhere to go. Thurston Blood, not too many options there. And Claire Osir, the 28 car, the French-Canadian, uh, just got uh, swept up in that madness as well. Uh, speaking of uh, Osir, we're going to have a look at her right here and see uh, 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 some of the other people that come piling into this mess. There's the 51, nowhere to go. Now, Osir gets turned around. The one, uh, the 40 car hits her. I think that's Martin Baltner Jr. The 96 got into her as well. Matoko, um... Kind of turns into the 28 car for no reason. Uh, not really sure why uh, you'd use a car that's already there as uh, the brake pedal, really. Sakura Matoko, come. well, just throws it off the road in the end of the first lap. Uh, it had a very error-filmed weekend. She's been off the road several times. As I mentioned earlier, Villanova has uh, not had a pretty good season so far. Uh, earlier in the season, he was actually last in the championship behind uh, Tyrone Stanley, who had only started one race at that time. So Villanova, uh, not exactly covering himself in too much glory, until now, seemingly. Uh, Archer Harris in the 79 car started all the way back in last place, 38th. He's up to 23rd after the first lap, so this 79 car really making some headway. Archer Harris could be a dark horse for the championship if things go wrong with Troy Adams. Um, Mike Durbin in the 08 car is trying to revive his title hopes coming into this race. He was several points behind. Uh, Troy Adams, and he uh, kind of is going to need a miracle to catch him. On, uh, he's going to need Adams to have some trouble. He just got passed by Afsal Tamid in the 58 car for fourth, so uh, Durbin not going uh, in the right direction. Troy Adams is, as I mentioned earlier, the runaway leader in the championship. I have a feeling we'll see him in a Master Cup car on the full-time basis next year. He's running in 12th place. Uh, Star Team Nomoto, I believe, has an o will uh, maybe have an opening, depending on what Tom Delgado does next year. Um... We'll have to see about that. He's running the Independent Trophy this year. Here is Dermot Scott, car number 10, who's uh, not really been having a great weekend, but uh, Bobby Dollar just runs straight in the back of the 10 car and puts him off the road. Great save, though, by Dermot Scott to avoid the wall. Just missed it by a couple inches. Here's Dexter Hamlet, and, uh, well, there he is. That's the 24 Buffy Borinaz. He makes a bit of contact with the 3 car of Quan Singh. I don't think that was a very heavy contact. That was enough to send both cars off into the tire wall and out of the race on the second lap. Slow mo camera. And look at the uh, twenty. Or look at the twenty-four car. Looks like uh, Borinaz moves over on the fifty-four, and Hamlet just went to avoid her, and uh, well, got t he and the three car uh, were both eliminated. 
Anyway, here's Jacob Card going for second on Cameron Taylor. This 133 car, the EV racing car, not a whole lot of money, but it's been pretty quick this weekend. Brooke Ingverson is in for Tiffany Matthews. Uh, Ingverson won Brazil last year, and uh, you might have noticed this going by, but Ingverson's actually wearing one of Matthews' helmets for this race. Uh, this is how short notice this deal was, but... Um, Ingverson on this number 16 car. I'm kind of surprised she didn't land a full-time ride. I think it's a bit of a shame, but the Little Rock, Arkansas native is clearly making the most of it. Afzal Tamid, car 58, starts the uh, green flag pit cycle on lap 4 in the car number 58. The last row Autosport car has been having a pretty good weekend. You can see at the top left of the screen all the cars that pitted with Tamid. Here is Thomas Kidd in the 15 car, doing battle with Jim Hayes in the 07. Cesar Villanova, car number 8. Uh, is in one lap later. I think this will be a three-stop uh, three race. Uh, TM Lights cars have very, very small fuel cells on them. Here is Zach Gott and Troy Adams hitting the pit lane along with one of the uh, Lynx women's team, team cars. I don't know what adjustments Ike Durbin's team made of this car, but he, he is flying right now. The 08 car is the quickest car on the racetrack, and he just blows by Jacob Card. Ali Collada and the number 27 Lynx women's team car is having a top 10 run at the moment. She'll get her first run in a TM Master Cup seat, uh, car this year at uh, Indianapolis, where she'll run the third Volpe. Her teammate, Claire Ossier, however, has had nothing but problems this week. Ossier back in the pit lane for, I believe, the third time. Uh, anyway, Mike Durbin is the man of the moment right now. Cameron Taylor almost wipes out in uh, coming in turn two there. And the 08 car is now going to try to hunt down Cesar Villanova in the 8 car. But Villanova is a very hard man to catch as we're on board with the with uh, the 08 car. Ike Durbin lost a bit of ground to Villanova, and he pit early. Um, <clears throat> so it looks like Ike Durbin throws the dice, and he is going to try to pit early. Hopefully he can get out in front of CVN, Taylor, and Card. They all stopped one lap after him. Here is Thomas Cade, rolled the dice, stayed out an extra lap. Bobby Dell in the 98 car is going to wipe out Brandon LaRoe, or try to. Um, rather, uh, Bobby Dollar is uh, not exactly making too many friends right now. That's, I believe, the third or fourth car he's hit. We missed a couple other cars that he's been bumping into. Jacob Card in the 133 car is going to try to get by Cameron Taylor, who makes a pretty big mistake in the last corner. Gives Card the opportunity. No, Card does not have the speed to get by Cameron Taylor. Anyway, Troy Adams in the 9 car sits back in fourth place. Ike Durbin is behind him, and that's really all he's concerned about at the moment, I believe. Brooke Ingverson and Bernard Strauss are currently battling for 7th. Um, Ingverson in particular having a pretty strong run there in that 16 car. Bernard Strauss, though, is driving for his job because we believe he'll be the German will be out of the Black Diamond Racing 7 car at the end of this year and that Robert Blake may take over that ride. Strauss doing everything he can to make sure he stays in that car next year. John Jefferson, the 37 car, is going to become the next victim of Bobby Dollar. He gets eliminated from the race and Bobby Dollar gets invited to the steward's office. Jefferson will be out of a ride next year. Uh, that's a bit of a disappointment for him, but uh, Bobby Dollar has been on a rampage on this race. I don't really know what his deal is today, um, but uh, anyway, Troy Adams, car number nine, is going to short fill in, in the uh, Down Under Motorsports car. Bernard Strauss in one lap later, and the leaders are in on lap 12 of 16. That's CBN, Cameron Taylor, and Jacob Card. Uh, a, bit, a bit of a ways back, fourth, fifth, and sixth. Thomas Cade, Ike Durbin, and Zach got in. Uh, there is Ingerson in, Jim Hayes in, Archer Harris, the 79 car, having a great day as well. Eric Molina rolled the dice. He's staying on an extra lap, uh, leads a lap, and then comes into the pit lane. He is close to last in the championship, so he really does not have a whole lot to lose in that 21 car. Ali Collada in car 27, making up some ground on some cars that were leaving the pits. She's going to get off the track a little bit, and she's going to get escorted into the tire wall by Andrea Canassa, who kind of has a habit of causing... Um, Silly collisions, but that's going to put Collada, um, well, in the hole. Collada in the 27 car would come into the pits, but she would uh, be a long ways back in that 27 car. And that's really a shame because she was having a pretty good run out there. Axel Anderson and Brian Morris uh, run out of fuel with two laps to go. However, Anderson's car has some fuel pickup problems, and the 997 car was retired with um, just a couple of laps to go. And that's rather disappointing because he was on the pole today. However, he was sliding backwards ever since the start. Jacob Card has caught Cameron Taylor. Apparently, uh, uh, Villanova has, uh, yes, Villanova has gotten away from him. And Jacob Card is setting up Cameron Taylor. Just a couple laps to go. That 133 EV racing car. Card is hungry for some success in this series. Cameron Taylor will be running tomorrow's Master Cup race. And uh, Card goes around Cameron Taylor in Canada Corner. Taylor does not really fight that as much as I think he uh, could have. 
in that 68 card, but now he is trying to get back at Jacob Card, but Card really aggressive around the back marks. Cameron Taylor overdrives the last corner, is going to get stuck behind Thurston Blood, giving Card an opportunity to streak away in second. However, Cesar Villanova dominated the race, led 14 of the 16 laps, and the only two laps he didn't lead were because Thomas Cade and Eric Molina had stayed out an extra lap on fuel. And as you can see, Jacob Card beat Cameron Taylor back to the line. Thomas K had a good fourth. Zach got Troy Adams did what he needed to do for his championship hopes. Eric Molina, Ike Durbin, Ferguson, Nathan Ferguson, Nasa Sunamachi, Jim Hayes, Archer Harris had a great a run. Harris and Ferguson stuttered in the last row, and they both wound up solidly in the points. Good job by both of them. Afzal Tamid, great run by Dermot Scott in car number 10. He had to make a recovery drive after nearly getting put out of the race a couple of times. And uh, the Scott brought the uh, Evans Motorsports number 10 car home in a solid 14th place. Brooke Ingerson was one of the cars that gambled on fuel and uh, didn't really work out. Ingerson uh, dropped out of the top 10 down to 15th place, but I saw quite a bit of speed out of Ingerson this race and a lot of discipline as well. Uh, she did a very good job in her first race back in the TM Light Series. Lang Chong Kun on uh, the Altamont Autosport car. Roger Kendall, the Australian in car number two. Buffy Borinaz, Joe Cummings, and Justin Robinson takes the final points paying position for Unit 11 Motorsports. In the Drivers' Championship, Troy Adams extended his lead just a little bit over Ike Durbin. Archer Harris moves up to third. Cameron Taylor sits in a solid fourth place in the Dan Timothy Racing car. Nathan Ferguson, still in the top five in the championship, won a couple races earlier in the year. Andrea Canasa, Sakura Motoko, is tied on points with Thomas Cade. However, Motoko has a win, which gives her seventh over Cade. Ali Kalata is still in the top ten in points, despite having a dismal day. And Zach Gott in the Gravity Racing 71 rounds out the top ten in the championship. The next time we see the TM Lights in action, it will be at the New York Auto Ring in upstate New York.